Okay, so in this part, we're going to be manipulating the eyes, the eyebrows, and the mouth of Hatsune Miku and MMD. Um, it's not really enough for you to just basically manipulate the arms and the hands and the legs if the expression of your character is just going to be this blank stare for your entire animation then that's not going to look very lively at all and by uh, changing the facial expression that can basically improve it a lot so we can open up the facial category here inside of the frame manipulation and see that there's quite a few options here um, but how we actually manipulate them is we go down here to facial manipulation. If we click on each of these drop downs, you'll see that uh, depending on which part of the face, like the eyebrow, the eyes, the mouth, um, there's going to be different options we can select, such as uh, anger. So if you want to increase how angry the face looks, uh, you would select angry here from the drop down, uh, select the keyframe that you want that level of anger at. And use the slider bar in order to manipulate the face. So you can see that the eyebrow uh, starts to kind of get that angry squint. Uh, obviously, you would probably need to change the mouth and the eyes quite a bit to really make it look like a real angry face. So that's just for the eyebrow. Um, let's actually go ahead and uh, register this at frame 30. Uh, so assuming that we have 30 frames a second, that would mean that it takes one second in order for it to reach this point. Okay, so register it there, uh, and let's go back to frame zero, and we'll actually play the animation now. So from the previous part, uh, the hand went up in the air, and now the eyebrows are going to change too. So hitting play, it's really odd to see what was going on there. So uh, let's actually uh, make it so that these keyframes are a lot further out, and that should make it... A little bit smoother so that we can actually see what's going on rather than it happening in an instant so I'll put that at frame 55 and let's see the angry keyframe let's also move that to 50 and let's try this again so play okay well the arm definitely worked there let's see what's going on with the Angry. Uh, yeah, okay, it looks like I didn't register the keyframe properly, so let's do that again. Angry face, register, and it looks like it took this time. So back to frame zero, play, and her eyebrows are going to change position over the course of uh, a couple seconds there. Now, uh, as I mentioned, if you want it to look even remotely realistic, you're going to need to modify how the eyes look and the mouth looks as well. So let's give that a shot. Uh, let's start with the mouth. And... I don't know, let's just kind of experiment here. So frame 50, the mouth, an eye face. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe not what we're looking for. Let's see about an A. Oh yeah, and you can combine uh, these different parameters. Uh, so you can have a lot of A, a lot of Ooh, a lot of E, uh, different shapes if it's necessary. But yeah, keep in mind if you add in uh, too much stuff, it can end up looking a bit ridiculous. But let's actually register those. So I at 4:30, A register U as well. You got to register them all individually. Uh, make sure you get the keyframes up there. And uh, let's see what else can we do. The eyes. Yeah, maybe the eyes should get closed a little bit. Okay, a little bit bizarre, but I think it looks a little bit more believable. Um, and let's see, the eyebrows, maybe they can also go down. Yeah, okay, that's not bad. And as you can see for this specific model, there's nothing in other. Uh, some models do have teeth, so uh, just kind of experiment, find out what uh, parameters you can manipulate with your given model and uh, yeah figure out what you can do with it it's a lot of trial and error so let's actually uh, go ahead and play this again okay so yeah not exactly the best angry face there but you definitely get the idea right and uh, yeah if we want to revert later on to say a more default face we could just go over here to frame 60 or actually, an uh, even easier way would be to select all of these uh, different keyframes, go to copy, 
go to the keyframe where you want them back at the defaults on and hit paste. So now it should get angry and then quickly go back to normal. Okay, and let's add a couple more keyframes over there just so that the video doesn't stop so abruptly. Okay, and it looks like the animation may have been a little bit too quick there as well, so... We'll just change that to 75. Move these keyframes to 100 just so that the video goes up to 100. And try it one more time. You can see that it's very, very trial and error. Okay. So you can actually tell what's going on now. The face gets angry and then it stops being angry. So that's the general gist of facial manipulation.